good to see you. What's good, y'all? So, boy, get all this. Back again for another video. We're here to uh, talk about Brainiac in the Suicide Squad video game. Oh, yes. Brainiac. Oh, man. If you don't know, I've already talked about the other League members' uh, deaths in previous videos. I appreciate the support because thanks to these um, vids I've been making, I've gotten over 2K subs and I'm approaching 2100. So, let's keep it going, man. Next video, I'll be getting into the multiverse shit and why it's stupid. And then we'll see where we go after that. Brainiac, the main antagonist of the video game. This guy single-handedly soloed the Justice League, whooped their ass, and then took over their minds. So this Brainiac is obviously very powerful. If this version of the Justice League can't beat him, he's obviously a threat that the Suicide Squad can't handle. Anyways, let's get into how they killed Brainiac. <laughs> So, I want to show to you how powerful Brainiac is. He literally freezes them. After they got, got done killing Superman, they're literally frozen like a motherfucker. And then Brainiac comes through. Now look, he can easily kill them all. He can easily kill them all. He can easily beat their ass and mind control them. Right? Obviously, this version of the Suicide Squad is very powerful. They have somehow been able to take down the Justice League. So, why wouldn't Brainiac want to just whoop their ass right here and mind control them so that they can serve him? Wouldn't Brainiac be unstoppable? This version of the Suicide Squad has so much plot armor. I don't even think Goku can beat him. I mean, Christ's sake, they beat Superman. But does he do that? Nope. He does the stupid supervillain speech. Shows them the multiverse. Oh, this plays into the game later. Shows them a bunch of bullshit. Look at this. Brainiac wants to take over the multiverse. That's his goal. He wants to take over the multiverse. So... Seemingly, he is powerful enough to at least take over one universe, right? How the fuck can the Suicide Squad beat him? Look at this shit. Will be and he looks like shit. Look at this. Why isn't he green? <laughs> Why isn't Brainiac green by chance? His voice is okay, but he doesn't even look like Brainiac. Will be like, that's not Brainiac. And he's standing all sus-like. Look. A universal constant. So he wants every universe in the multiverse to be taken over by Brainiac. Okay. How did you defeat my Justice League? Plot armor. Simple as that. Fucking plot armor. With your chaos. Now, I've heard that the Justice League is still alive and that the League members we killed are clones. If that's true, that completely, completely devalue, devalues the title of the game. Kill the Justice League. But you don't actually kill the Justice League. You kill Brainiac clones that he created. Well, you think I'm going to be excited that the Arkham Justice League is still alive? No. You've already killed them. Why are you, why are you, you might as well stick to your guns and keep them dead. Oh, but you realize, wait a minute, if we kill Arkham Batman, how is the Arkhamverse gonna gonna continue? Aw, oh, shit, we gotta bring him back. Stupid. Success. Look at him, he can easily kill him! And now he's glazing, uh, he's glazing the suicide squad. Uh, oh. Oh wow, I know why why didn't he just do that when he froze them earlier? Your special brain powers ain't gonna work this time. They got something to protect him from his brain bullshit. So there you go. There's your explanation. No, I thought we'd try something a bit different. Oh, okay. He sounds he sounds like that sphere 
from Portal 2. Wheatley, is that its name? Fun. They told me it wasn't fun at all, so they said it's not fun at all. And I, I, I believed them, I thought I was a fool to myself. Is that Wheatley voicing Brainiac? I mean, I actually don't mind. I kind of like Wheatley's voice. Here we go. My name's Vril Donks. Vril Donks? I'm the fastest man alive. So, the final boss of the game is reusing the first boss of the game. I repeat, the final boss of the game is them reskinning the Flash boss fight. Let me break down why this shit is retarded. Hey, <laughs> this is laziness, Rocksteady. This is lazy. I want to fight. Imagine at the end of Injustice 2, instead of fighting Brainiac, you fight fucking corrupted superman a clone of brainiac that shit would be ass like no i want to fight brainiac this makes no sense what the fuck is going on here you're reusing the flash boss fight from the beginning of the game you know this makes brainiac look like a fucking idiot right didn't they already beat the flash didn't they already figure out how to defeat the flash early on in the game is it like the first boss they killed? Why would you want to take that form? Why not actually use your actual powers and abilities? The squad doesn't know what Brainiac is truly capable of, do they? No, they don't. But instead, they reskin the Flash boss fight because Rocksteady and Sweet Baby Inc. ran out of ideas. Does this really seem like a gaming company that gives a shit? This is so fucking lazy. This is pathetically bad. You mean to tell me I spent 10 hours playing this garbage to finally get to the Brainiac boss fight. Maybe it could be epic. Maybe it's one big awesome finale and we just fight the Flash again. Even though the Suicide Squad has already beaten the Flash. Does this shit make any damn sense? What the fuck are we doing? We already beat someone who commands the Speed Force. Hell, Barry Allen is the Speed Force from what I know. Why are we doing this, Rocksteady? Why can't we just fight Brainiac? You know, the main antagonist of the game. So with the Batman boss fight, instead of fighting Batman, you fight a giant nightmare Batman. Lazy. And instead of fighting Brainiac, you fight a fucking Brainiac clone version of the Flash. Lazy. Why are the boss fights in this game so mid? You're fighting the Justice League. God level like warriors. Heroes. But yet, it, it, it's just so boring. It, 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 it just lacks substance. This is what you think of the fans? Really? You just reskin the Flash boss fight. Look, it's the same shit. He's zooming around. You see, you're going to see his ass, stupid ass, zooming around. Look, look at that shit. You don't even actually fight Brainiac. Why would Brainiac take the form of a hero that you've already beaten? Does that shit make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. So they kill Brainiac. Well, they beat Brainiac. The Suicide Squad. Boomerang, King Shark, Harley Quinn, and Deadshot beat Brainiac. Superman, Wonder Woman, and Green Lantern, and The Flash couldn't defeat him. He folded them. But the Suicide Squad beat Brainiac. Do you see the illogical writing, or is it just me? This shit makes no fucking sense. What the fuck? Oh, and he's gonna piss on Brainiac. This shit is ass. This, this is fucking garbage. How can anyone like this trash? They beat Brainiac, y'all. It took Superman and Batman in Injustice 2 to even have a chance of standing up to Brainiac. But the Suicide Squad beat him in this game. They lock Brainiac in that little sphere. They go back to Earth-1. The, the pooping? Come on, you are the pooping? What the fuck? Rocksteady is so shit now that they are... <laughs> they are degrading themselves into toilet humor. What happened to the studio? 
The writing is dog shit. It's garbage. This is one of the worst writing I have ever seen in anything since the Marvels last year. Like, oh my, like, this writing is so bad, it's insulting. I, I, I feel my melanin dissipating the more jokes that these characters write. I mean, the more jokes that these characters make. Sweet Baby Ink needs to go. They're garbage. And Rocksteady is now garbage. Yeah, the gameplay might be fun, from what I understand, but the story is abysmal. It's like a bunch of DC haters got together and were given the rights to these characters in this, in this world and tried their best to fucking ruin it and destroy it because they're secretly Marvel fanboys. That's what it feels like. It just feels like a comic book hater's wet dream. Like the dude who wrote The Boys, Garth Ennis, him, it feels like he wrote this because he hates superhero stuff. This shit just don't feel right, bro. Waller and Lex Luthor want Brainiac for something. Do you care? No. They get mad because they seemingly kill Brainiac. Oh, and then Brainiac comes back to life. Oh my goodness. <gasps> He's alive, guys. Holy shit. He's, I don't know what is he doing. Is he having the best blowjob of his life? What's going on here? And then Waller kills him. Waller kills Brainiac. Amanda Waller kills. Oh, that's so fucking weak. That makes sense. Waller killing Brainiac. I don't know. You let me know. And then I guess he dies. They download all the information from his fucking head, and then he dies, and then it's over. And then, and then they start talking about alternate realities and dimensions and multiverses that the squad will have to beat 12 other Brainiacs in the season pass. Can we please stop with the multiverse stuff, please? It, it seeped into every fucking thing now. It's like the multiverse bullshit is used to excuse shit shitty writing or to allow mediocre writing can we please stop with this the, this game a suicide squad game does not need the multiverse to be involved at all whatsoever this was a big mistake you're hindering this game's potential you really are because this multiverse stuff is fucking everywhere marvel with phase four introducing the multiverse i don't know what kind of craze that this that shit induced i'm tired of it i don't care about alternate realities alternate versions of characters i'm telling y'all right now they are going to bring back arkham batman through the multiverse here's the funny part it's not the arkham batman that we all grew up playing and love it's going to be an alternate version that has that has gone through different experiences different shit than the Arkham Batman we know and love. This is terrible writing. Can we please stop with the multiverse? They are literally using the multiverse to prolong this game's life cycle. Instead of just creating a really good co-op single player experience with future DLC down the road. Instead, they use the multiverse to, <laughs> to try to encourage you to stick around after beating the main game. Because I'm assuming there's not a lot of things to do. Get the fuck out of here, Rocksteady. Please. No more multiverse shit. I'm tired of it. The only W I'm going to give this game is that all, from what I understand, all post-game content is free. Now, there's still microtransactions and shit in the game, which I don't fucking like. I understand all DLC is free, so okay, not bad, but we still got garbage like this in the game. Trat, like you spent $70 and then you see this. Bullshit. This game sucks. It's fucking garbage. The story is abysmal. Look, we get to play with a bunch of cool shit from alternate universes. And then when they're done beating, sorry, 13 Brainiacs. Oh, wow. So you mean to tell me that the story isn't over yet? So you took the final chapter of the story and then spread it out with the season pass that's free from what i understand which is fine i think this is the only dub that rocksteady has
that at least if you buy the game, all content will be free. I'll give Rocksteady that. I'm fair. But this final boss fight is insulting. You have all, I was all excited that Brainiac is in the game. He's the main antagonist. You finally get to him. You're hyped. You're excited. Holy shit. I've always wanted to fight Brainiac. And then they just kill him because he turned into the Flash like a dumbass, not knowing that the squad has already beaten the Flash. What type of final boss is this? Are you serious? And they beat him, and then he wakes up, and then Waller kills him with the stupid, cringy one-liner. And then he disappears. And that's the ending of the game. Brainiac eliminated. Ooh, yay! I have people asking me to buy this game and play it. Part of me wants to just to fucking flame it and roast it. And I know y'all want me to fucking destroy this game. A part of me doesn't want to. Because I don't want to support garbage like this. I don't. Well, speaking of support, uh, the game ain't doing too good. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League all-time concurrent player peak on Steam is way below Marvel's Avengers and Gotham Knights. UK physical sales are about half of underperforming Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians was a great game. I have it. It's fantastic. But it didn't sell well, which is sad. Because people thought that it was another Avengers game, but it wasn't. Look at this shit. 13K, 28K. More people played that shitty Avengers game. And Gotham Knights. Holy shit. But I thought the game was selling well. I thought we were haters. Oh my god, the game's selling well. Wow, it's way on the bottom. PUBG is doing better. <laughs> I told y'all, man, the game is trash, and now people are waking up to it. Brainiac Box Fight sucks. Next video will be on the multiverse garbage. I got you. I'm not done. Take a link in the description on my Twitch. Like, subscribe, favorite. Uh, road to 10K slash 5K. Let's get it popping. I'll see y'all next time. Hit the outro. Fuck this boss fight.